Well, today I'm going to work on this horse trailer. <clears throat> As you can see, it is pretty rotten. I pulled up, of course, two, two planks had already broke. I pulled up some more to get to this brace, see how it was braced in. It was broke on this end, so uh, I know I'm going to have to replace the whole floor, but right now I need to get this brace welded back in. I don't have a small piece of piece of angle iron is what this is so what I've done is I found a, it's a little bit thicker than what I need but it's the only thing I find that really work and I got a little knot right there that I wish wasn't in my way but I'm going to tack it and then I'm going to bring it stick weld out here and I'm going to weld it in like right there and uh so that's what I'm set up to do now is tack it. I got my MIG and uh, I'll get it tacked and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, well, this metal so thin on this trailer that outside I just use this MIG and uh, you can see it just burnt through right there where it wasn't nothing really there. So I think I've got a pretty good hold here and over here. I think the one one test that I know of and that's to stand on it oh yeah she's going hold so now that I got that brace fixed this other brace is looking in pretty good shape that one just rusted right off at the back end but you can tell this side of the trailer has rusted a lot worse than this side and I don't know why but I'm probably going to end up putting a, uh, cutting this stuff here off and putting an eye, uh, angle, a big piece of angle iron across the back to hold the uh, flooring in. Uh, but I mean, it'll hold like this. It's got, it's got overhang here and here. And what you do is you lay the floor in, then you go down the sides with a, with a piece to hold all together. So, uh, of course, over the time, over over the last few years, packed and packed, and this piece of pine I put up in here, I guess about three years ago, and as you can see, it's disintegrated. Uh, so all this will have to come out. This is this was white oak, the last floor we put in here, and it's probably been oh 20 years since we put a floor in. Well, at least, yeah, probably at least 20 years, and I think this is the third floor that's been in this trailer. So, I see some pressure trees there I replaced, and I put them pieces there to hold it in, but I think the best thing to do is just replace every bit of it with pressure treated, because I can, if I had a source of white oak, I'd, I'd buy some white oak and put it in here. But, uh, you know, Granddad put these planks along the side, kind of hold, hide the holes, but as you can see, the holes is getting bigger and bigger, especially up front. We need to come in here with some uh, sheet metal and repair all that for the hole down front of the trailer flies off one day. But anyway, guys, appreciate you watching, and a uh, little update on the truck since my last video is I'm having troubles with my passenger side door window and I think the window itself is the issue but it won't stay on track when you roll it down so I got to get it fixed before I put my other door panel on stay tuned for that